this is Morgan from Morgan Burke Photography and today I'm going to show you how to apply a texture to your photo. Um, this is the photo here that I'm going to use. I've already made my changes and, and have edited this photo and the only thing left to do is just add the texture. Um, the texture I'm going to use today is In a Haze, the cool version from my Daydreamer texture collection. Um, first I'm just going to grab my move tool and just click and drag it over onto the photo. transform it and just fit it to the photo. And the next thing you need to do is figure out which blend mode you want your texture in. I like overlay mostly. Um, it just kind of gives you that good light. Um, if you want it not so dark, you can use soft light or um, you know if you want it really extreme, you can use hard light. Or, or, you know, if you go into like a hazy tone, you can use screen and just lower the opacity a lot. Um, I kind of like the overlay version, so I'm going to go with that. Okay, the first thing I want to do before I apply a layer mask is just select the tones because I like the way it lights up their skin. I don't want to cover that out with the layer mask too much, um, at least not yet. So I'm going to select the tone here. I've already got it. Um, and then just come back to the photo and paint that in a little bit. Like here over her arm, it's uh, the texture is over, so I'm just going to paint on top of the texture, make sure that texture is selected, and just paint it in so that the color from the texture is still there because we're being selected for color from the texture, but the actual you know pattern and design of the texture is not going to be on her skin. Uh, same thing over here, and if this is a little bit too light, you can go over here and just kind of select from this area um, where her arm is and just kind of gives her that, that natural vignette look because of it was in the texture area. So we'll just add that in a little bit, lay it on top of the skin. And you can use this, you know, on your clothes if you want. That's a little bit too dark just because I selected from the edge, but you can get up here a little bit more. Um, and then just paint that on there until you like those a little bit on her hair here if you really want. I like the light on their face, so I'm just going to grab from the very center around where their faces were and just paint that over a bit too so that, you know, the color from the texture is still showing, like I said, but the pattern um, and the texture is not so dark. And so it's still a little bit bright. I really like what it does to the background, so I don't want to change that too much. Um, maybe just lower it a tiny bit. So we'll go with maybe like an 85 and then their faces are still a little bit too bright. I lost some detail there. So that's where I'm going to apply my layer mask. Uh, white shows, so this whole texture is being revealed by this white layer mask. I'm just going to grab my black uh, to cover up part of it. And just give it about 20% opacity and just lightly paint over their faces. I don't want to remove too much because I just don't want it. Um, I don't want it to be too dark and not natural with the background, but I do want to get some of that detail back. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit back onto it. <coughs> so that is pretty much it. You can also duplicate this layer if you'd like. Um, and, you know, that gives it a stronger tone. You can put this in a different mode. Um, you can try darken here. That's a little bit too dramatic for me. But you can do multiply and just lower the opacity a lot. Um, and that's, you know, with that, it gives you a little bit more texture here and some of the highlight, as opposed to without it and overlay. There's none of it. There's no, oops, I didn't mean to do that. There's none in the highlights there. So you can just, you know, play around with that and see what you like. Um, I think if I did keep it on multiply, I would definitely lower this a lot because it's a little bit too dramatic to look at it. Maybe around there or so. Um, and then you're finished. So good luck, and I hope you really like working with textures. Let me know if you have any questions, and you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Photography. Thanks for checking this out.